Here we are in Cordoba. We are heading to the center part of town um, to take a tour of the old city. We have about 20 minutes to get there and we need to get breakfast. Just got our breakfast, two cappuccinos and four medialunas. And Best now we, breakfast ever. Yeah, even though we haven't had it yet, we know it's gonna be good. Oh my god. They make their cappuccinos with like cinnamon and they're always really good. It's like the, it's like the coffee to get here if you want like a fancy coffee. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I look forward to the medialunas every single morning. Yeah, uh, and now we see the, the flag for our tour and we made it in time, one minute to spare. Perfect. The architect made this building on the ground of the facade so that way people would recognize and pay attention to the facade. Very interesting. Now we had zero picture shifts. The last one in the war started in 1976 and it's finished in 1983. Okay? During this period, a lot of people disappeared, around 30,000. Right here is a really cool part of Cordoba. So it was, I don't know if it was founded, but there are a lot of Jesuits here when the city was founded. And this was a place of worship because there wasn't enough high, there wasn't enough area on the Jesuit block. But it was covered up the avenue, and then they forgot about it and they found it from the telecom company. I wish we could go inside, but it's only open on Tuesdays. The street is so beautiful. The street is. Cordoba is really nice. I wish we had more time here because it's only, it's Sunday, so there's not that many people out. They went to the church earlier and they were having mass, so I imagine other people were out of church. Uh, but I like it so far. City of the students. Because they like to party. <laughs> Venice building in Latin America. How do you like Cordoba so far? How do you like Cordoba so far? I love you. Oh, okay. I had to figure it out. That's why it took me so long. Nice. Dos chorifan y una bebida Pepsi y una de Sprite. 520. 520. Gracias. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola. ¿Le dieron el papelito? Sí, me voy a traer mi chapa. Y. Soy eso. Perfecto. ¿Algo más? Chimmy. Uh, 
bebida. Coca. Sí, coca y Sprite. Perfecto. Muchas gracias, señorita. How is it? Oh, excellent. Mushrooms, corn, tomato, lettuce, onion, like a salsa, chimichurri. Oh, fantastic. It was recommended to us by our tour guide. So we sought it out and found it. Very good. And we, uh, this man sat next to us and he started talking to us in Spanish and then his daughter came who knows English and we were able to practice our Spanish and had a nice long conversation with him. Yeah. He was so nice. Um, his daughter is going to the University of Buenos Aires, which is like top 75 in the world. Yeah, great so university. That was, so that was like really cool talking to them. It always, I always appreciate it when people um, have patience to speak with us in Spanish because their Spanish is so broken that you really do need a lot of patience to talk with us. It and takes like two or three times to say the same thing for us to be like, okay, yeah, we get it. And then it takes another few seconds for us to be like, okay, we know the word to say, how do we say it in the way that we want to say it? Yeah. <laughs> what tense are we using? And then I think we, we get it mostly right, um, hopefully. And yeah. It takes a lot of patience on their point, but it's really nice. Yeah, it's always, I always leave whenever, uh, com I always leave conversations, um, you know, with different people thinking, I am so grateful that this person, or that these people, this person spoke to us because it really helps us practice our Spanish. Um, we learn so much. Now we are off to... We don't know where we're walking to. We're walking in the direction of our Airbnb, but there's another tour at five. 240 right now, so we might walk back there. You know, it's a little, it's a little warm here, so we might go to the AC and, and chill, or we might go to the water. Who knows? Yeah, we'll figure we... that out. So Wednesday is the museum day here in Cordoba, so all the museums are open. And through our guide and our research, we found tons of different museums that we'd like to go to. So um, when we come back to Cordoba, if we come back. We'd like to come out on Wednesday and, and hopefully see some of the museums. Because we're here on a Sunday and a lot of things are closed, so even the ones that are free, um, we can't go. And we also offered a third tour called Alberti Tour. 200 rings in this park that represent 200 years. Since they first declared their Democratic government, patriotic government. In honor of all the polar bears in the Antarctic. The little, the little detail is that there are no polar bears in the Antarctic. Those polar bears are from the North Pole, not the South Pole. And we are so lucky, the Colombians, that we have the only Antarctic water bear in the world. I recommend you to come here to this museum. It's my favorite, so if you want, you can also check it out. It's your favorite too. It's one of the best. If you want to come visit, it is here Wednesdays, close on Mondays, and only 50 pesos. Sit. Any questions, guys? Everything good? Guardian dog of the tour. Negro. Negro. Good boy.
We just finished our walking tour. tour. The afternoon tour was amazing. And now we're gonna go for some drinks. Did you get a good swim? Uh, it's a very fancy McDonald's. <gasps> I wonder if they have that ice cream. <gasps> Maybe I'll have that for dinner. If you don't know, C comes from our taxi driver in Iguazu. He was asking us if we take a if we were gonna take a taxi to the falls, we said a bus. Or we said, is there a bus? And he said, sure. <laughs> it was really funny. Jen's gonna wake me up at 4.30 tomorrow. Yeah, I am. Yeah, she's gonna be in charge of getting us up. Yeah, I am. Said no one ever.